Eric, if you wanted to ask your question, we can do that. And yeah, that will be the whole meeting for the day. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully it's a quick one, but now I was just curious as you guys have, you know, sort of had people presenting the different uh, special purpose operating systems, whether you sort of tried to figure out some taxonomy or sort of points where they're the same, the different, where the different, or I mean, there's sort of, I guess, two classes in terms of more of the container focused ones as opposed to the more um, edge or embedded or whatever we should call them. Um, but, but have people, more people sort of taking notes, trying to do a bit of more of a broader sort of understanding of the landscape or whatever it's called it just curious yeah we actually had a brief fairly brief discussion about this as we were putting slides for the for, uh the the panel discussion at kubecon um i think it, it would be interesting to try to come up with kind of a set of axes that kind of make sense right um we initially just had the one on the slide that then and clearly that sort of uh, simplifies a complex space much too much too far to be terribly meaningful. Um, but I think there is some value in kind of figuring out, yeah, taxonomy or or a set of of yeah a, a, a set of kind of things you can look at to judge where an operating system is on the on the the broad spectrum, right? Mm -hmm. So the way there's some other ones that <clears throat> came out of that discussion preparing for KubeCon or? Sorry, uh, say that again? <clears throat> in addition to the single axis, and you had at KubeCon, was there, were there some other things that were sort of captured as part of that as notes or something else or? Um, we might have notes. We were we were kind of just all sitting around a couple laptops chatting, uh, but okay. I, I think it would probably be, we could use one of these meetings. Maybe we can use this one, but at least start, start brainstorming. Right. Um, right there, there's, there's kind of, uh, the, the couple axes that we talked about are, are kind of, there's like minimal versus maximal, uh, kind of, right? Like whether it's number of packages or targeted number of use cases or whatever. And then there's sort of flexible and inflexible, uh, was another kind of direction that we talked about, um, there's kind of the security slider. Uh, I am now brainstorming. There's kind of the, the security slider, like to what degree is this thing locked down tight versus not? Um, uh, uh, let's see, what else? Um, I think the other, the other challenge here is, uh, okay. it, the other challenge is, is some of these operating systems, the artifact that is like the disk image that comes out of it isn't kind of the interesting piece as much as it is the the flexibility of the build system and maybe the build system is yeah. very flexible but the actual artifact is very rigid or or the the build system is wildly uninteresting and the artifact that comes out the other end is very interesting right like on kind of one side of that spectrum is yocto where you could pretty much make anything if you actually understand how yocto works um all the way to the other end of the spectrum, which is maybe, you know, we build the one thing and the one thing only. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think, yeah, I think I've seen that. Yeah, people that focus more on the build um, system. To, a build system to create immutable images that you don't actually change ever after you build them type thing, right? Okay. I mean, I think that that's a good start, right? So, yeah. Um, It's also something that we've kind of, or at least that I've hoped would come out of all of the presentations that we've done with the different OSs is just, you know, getting that overview of each of them and then starting to see where there's maybe some similarities, where they're different and make it a little easier to understand how to classify where a, a given OS fits in that spectrum or, you know, something. <laughs> I, I wonder if the classification itself is the most valuable thing or because I don't know if you guys remember, but a person uh, at the um, uh, panel, uh, his question was like, so which one should I use, right? Like, uh, I, I think more valuable than knowing where to put it in the spectrum of uh, special purpose or brainy systems would be to have kind of a guide uh, where 
a newcomer or someone who is trying to solve a problem could basically say, okay, I don't know, I'm thinking from the Kairos perspective, oh, is this something that I um, require to use at the edge? Oh, look at that. Kairos happens to be helpful for that because it already comes with a set of features that are focused on edge devices. Uh, more than if I would arrive and say, oh, this one is a rigid plus, uh, I don't know, uh, Kubernetes enabled or whatever, right? Where it might be a lot harder to determine whether it is for me or or maybe even five of our projects will follow fall in this exact same category, basically. I mean, I, okay. I, I think that those types of things are useful outcomes, right? It might be useful to have, sort of figure out, yeah, what are the sort of categories to use to compare and contrast, right? Because uh, that might lead into that, the, the sort of guide. But that's my, my my thinking, but it's early in the morning here. Uh, <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I do like the idea of... of... The, the kind of the generic idea of uh, using this group to come up with ways of raising awareness and creating kind of an easier path towards understanding of this landscape, whether, whether it's through um, kind of a, a rubric to put operating systems on or and or a, a like, you know, newcomers guide or a, a decision tree or whatever. But uh, yeah, I think and there's there's some value there because the landscape is growing fairly rapidly and is it takes some it takes some doing to really wade through all of them and understand them deeply enough to be able to weigh some of the trade-offs and like i think it is really interesting um like kind of how how if we if we even if we just focus on container operating systems not special purpose operating systems or just focus on edge operating systems like there's still a pretty huge breadth in in choice that is sort of hard to navigate, right? Like, hmm, should I use flat car, bottle rocket, Talos, Cos, or spin my own, or something else that I didn't just list, right? Like that that's a large decision tree and decision set. Like it's almost larger now than frankly what anyone would be choosing from in a general purpose operating system like there it's there's there's kind of four or five right like it's not that many uh, and and suddenly and they're fairly flexible like your big decision points are around how long are they supported and is it rpm based or debian based and then you then there you go um whereas here like there's a lot of nuance and subtlety to each yeah i like i like those ideas and sort of like, yeah, what what are the uh, environmental assumptions, right? So edge is, you know, people, pe pe different people might think of different things as being the edge, whether this is running in a sort of a telco data center, right, and on, on some virtual infrastructure, or are we talking about things that are running on bare metal, or where the design center is to run on bare metal, right? Um, might actually be quite different, I mean, um as opposed to things that assume that, no, I have some underlying host operating system that takes care of hardware, whatever, um, booting and other things. Yeah, I completely agree with that. Also, even um, what kind of devices can these OSs run on? Because uh, at least in ARM, the spectrum of devices is uh, just crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Also, I don't know, maybe licensing would be an important thing to tell people uh, in case some companies are a bit uh, hesitant on some kind of licensing. But I guess most of the projects are under similar kind of licenses. I don't know. Yeah, I think the, I would hope most of them are, but that's probably worth a call out to is like for the, <clears throat> for the handful that are in more restrictive licensing, it's probably worth making that clear. And whether it's a decision tree or a or a, a onboarding or the rubric, yeah, like if it's not fully open source, kind of an easy to use and share and tweak license, that's probably it. Yeah, worth worth calling out. 
certainly mm. the big companies, like they care a lot about what the licensing <laughs> structure looks like. Yeah, and I, I think this might be changing as people understand more about the open source with open governance as opposed to, you know, source available licenses, right? So, um, yeah, I guess actually speaking of axes to, to put things on, that that's a decent one, right? Linux distributions by and large are source available because GPL makes it just easier that way. <clears throat> but um, not all of them are are open governments, open development. Sure. Oh yeah, but that 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 this is a good list. So we should <clears throat> uh, look. look. I think that, yeah, at least in my mind, this this is this, this useful exercise. So maybe it's something we should tee up for future conversations to sort of firm up this 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 set of axes or set of considerations or whatever. Yeah, I shared with a smaller group. I I just started putting together an outline. I'd like um, like one of the outcomes of this group that we had talked about early on is uh, maybe you know is there a set of white papers or something like that that we can do to um, just educate or, or promote, you know, this concept of special purpose operating systems. Um, so really too early to, to share anything, but, um, I wanted to get just at least a straw man kind of outline of an, uh, initial white paper that we could do that kind of goes over some of these things. And then, um, you know, once we have just a very basic structure in place and, you know, maybe, I don't know, we could divide up a couple of people, take on a different section or, or see if there's any other important things that we need there um, or any follow on white papers, things like that, so that we can start to put together some actual content that we can get out there and capture these things. Like, what, what does this matrix look like? What did, what kind of questions do I even ask if I'm someone that's curious if a special purpose operating system is, is the right thing for my use case and those types of things? Um, so I've taken notes for this. This is all perfect for that that idea. Um, so hopefully, if I can actually spend some time and focus on it uh, before the next meeting, uh, you know, maybe after the the Eve uh, presentation, maybe we could um, start to go into that. Or and I'll I'll share it in the Slack channel too. If if I once I get things to the point where I'm actually willing to hear what I've written down. <laughs> Sounds good. So, is there some? Uh, do, and I know that like <clears throat> LF Edge did a white paper a while back about sort of what edge are you talking about, right? What it, what is your definition of the edge, right? Has anybody done something similar in the container operating system space that you guys have run into, or sort of showing in the range of things? No, not that I've seen. Um, yeah, not okay. the same. yeah. It's not. I, I know that that was a huge. Um, question in the edge space for quite a while. So I think that that was great having that done. Um, I don't know if we have as much um, uh, vagueness or, or, or variation um, with special purpose operating system, but the, there are, yeah, it's definitely a, a range of different types of uh, ones. So yeah, ho ho hopefully similar. not, right? Because at some <laughs> point in time, the definition of edge was whatever is not the cloud, right? So, yeah. Um, which wasn't very useful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or at least you need to figure out which one are you talking about. So. Yeah, yeah. I was in some of those early meetings and it's, yeah, it seemed like everybody had a different preconceived idea in their mind of what they were talking about when they were talking about edge. So, yeah. Do we have any of the special purpose OSs that are not oriented to the edge at the moment? Yeah. 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 I, I think most of the kind of many of the container operating systems are to some degree explicitly for the cloud. And some of them, um, like Haas, is pretty much explicitly for, for, the, for Google's cloud. It, it runs on Azure and AWS, but not like in a external customer supported way just because there's products that run there. Battle Rocket 2, the real focus is running in the cloud. I mean, there, there's bare metal support, but it's more like you can 
try this and it may have the drivers you need, but it might not. Um, really, the, the main focus of it is running in the cloud as a cloud instance. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah, so it would definitely be an interesting access to add, I guess. Yep. All right. Any anything else or should we cut it short here? Um little announcement. We just got accepted as one of the CNCF uh, sandbox projects. So we're very happy about that. We're going to start doing all the onboarding. Um, so yeah, if you have any suggestions, recommendations, please just send them over. <laughs> just congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. Congratulations. I think I saw flat car was, was um, on that road too. So it's great to see some progress there. To incubation. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we can call it then. Um, thanks. To, it ended up being a great conversation. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll probably, I'll still put up the recording uh, if anyone else missed this and there's some useful ideas and things to think about. So I um, guess we'll see everyone in a couple of weeks and uh, we can look forward to Eric giving a presentation on Eve. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Thanks, awesome. everyone. Have a nice day, guys. Ciao. Yeah. Right.